Hello and welcome to Saving Grace Education. In Unit 1.2 of Grade 4 History, we'll be looking at the history of a local area. The following definitions will be important for this part of the lesson. Investigate is to study something to try and understand it. An interview is a conversation with someone to get some information. An exhibit is to show something that people can have a look at. A historian is someone that is investigating and writing about the past. History is all about people, places and things that happened in the past. A museum is a place where objects of the past are exhibited. A monument is a building that is erected to remember to remind people of happenings in the past. Now let's have a look at resources to find out about local history. What is local history? How to find out about the present times of a local area? Local means close to an area where you live. History is about how people, places and things change over time. So, local history is about things, people and places in your community or your neighborhood. History can also help us understand the things that happen in the present. How do we find out about the past in our local area? We can find out about the past in a local area in the same way we find out about the present in a local area. We look at information from pictures, objects, writings and books as well as interviews with different people. Now study the information. Focus on the following. Changes in technology, that is vehicles, radios, signal towers, and wiring. The building environment, the size of buildings, and which building materials were used. People's behavior and their clothing. In this picture, you will see buildings with chimneys. An example of technology is the horse-drawn carriages. The clothing, the women wear long dresses and men wear hats. The roads are dirt and not paved. From this photo, we can see how the sun people lived in the past and how they live today. This picture shows the sun people living in the present. Well, this picture represents the past. We can then write down the things that changed or remained the same. You'll see that in the present, the clothing is more modern, that the people are sitting in groups and that the housing uses natural and modern materials in the present. In the past, they wore traditional clothing. They also sat in groups, and they only used natural materials. Let's examine the purpose of information from photos. These photographs are of the city of Johannesburg. They show how the city has changed over time. Daily newspapers publish photos of how the same place looked then, in the past, and how it looks now, in the present. You must be able to point out the difference between how people lived then and how it all changed through technology. Look at each detail on a photo and ask yourself whether the aspect is old or modern. Here is photos of Pretoria in the past and the present. Museums a museum is a place where objects from the past are put on display. There are different kinds of museums. There are museums about nature. They have collections of rocks, butterflies and fish. Art museums have paintings and sculptures. Museums can be visited by visitors for educational purposes or for fun. And museums can be found all across the world. For example, Transport museums display different kinds of transport, such as old bicycles, cars, and trains. 
Labeling a museum exhibit item. When you do an exhibit, you have to find out the following about an object and place it on a label for people to see. How old the object is, what it is made of, and how it is used. Who made use of it in history, and how may it be used today? For example, here we have a sewing machine. This sewing machine was used by my grandmother to make clothes for her family. How to gather information from interviews. What is an interview? An interview is to ask people a list of questions to gather some information. When you ask someone questions to gather some information, you are doing an interview with that person. For example, I asked my grandmother questions about her old sewing machine. Museums. Most museums have a collection of things that people used in the past. For example, old pens people used to write with, old pots and spoons that people used to cook with. A fashion museum exhibits some clothing and shoes to show how people dressed in the past. Here is an example of a mine museum in Kimberley, as well as a fashion museum. Here are some different types of museum items. Transport. Clothing. Houseware like plates, pots and spoons. And nature. Resources from museums. Queen Mary Antoinette's room and a painting in the Palace of Versailles Museum in France shows us how she lived. We can, for example, see that the Queen lived a life of luxury just by the look of a room and the expensive dress that she wore on this painting. Monuments A monument is a statue, memorial stone, or building that was erected in remembrance of a person or an important event in history. Here's a picture of Mandela House. Here's a statue of mine workers from Kimberley. Here is a memorial stone of Jock of the Butchveld. And let's have a look at an example research project focusing on the history of your local area. For the project preparation, the children in this photo are doing preparation for a history project. The project is all about the history of a local area close to their school. Their school is in the area of Skumansvold in Hartebiespoort. They decide to do a project regarding the history of the Hartebiespoort Dam. The children decided to make use of information like pictures, writing, people and objects. Here are some of the pictures and photos that they managed to gather. This is a watercolor painting of the Hartebiespoort area in 1835 by Charles Donaldson Bell, the official illustrator of Dr. Andrew Smith's expedition to the inland. This is the view from the south and most of the foreground is underwater today. Photos as resources about the history of an area. The children collected these three photos. The photos are from the town of Hartebiespoort. It shows how the Tones Dam Wall was changed over time. You'll see that it progressed, grew and developed over time. Look at this area. Students visited the area to have a look at to see what the dam wall looks like today. They also took some photos to be able to compare these with information they have from the past. Modern housing surrounding the Hartebiespoort Dam area. Information from objects. The children came across the notices at the dam wall and the Hartebiespoort Dam snake park next to the dam wall. These contain a short history about the town in the past. This is very valuable information. What did they learn from this? The Hartebiespoort Dam is a man-made dam. 
The design started in 1905 by the Swedish engineer August Carlsen. They started building the dam in 1918 and it was only completed in 1923. It took 250,000 bags of cement to build the dam wall. The building on the wall was inspired by the Arc de Triomphe and the dam first overflow happened in 1925. At the Hartbeesburg Dam Snake Park, next to the dam wall, they found the following notice. Here we can see information on when the dam was made. The depth of the dam. The range of water fluctuation. The height above sea level, as well as the coordinates. the dam wall they found the following information telling you more about the history of the building of the dam the study of diary entries is also a very useful historical tool mr g r mulder was an educator in hartebeespoort he wrote about history of hartebeespoort in his diary what the children could learn from his writings is that a camp area was built for the workers at the dam. Four of the workers lost their life during the building. The ox wagon, scotch car, sledge and wheelbarrow were basically the only means of transport during the time. Gathering information by means of interviews. The children decided to interview Mr. Willem de Prea, who did a lot of research of the Hartbeesford Dam. The children made a list of questions to be asked. Tembo asked Mr. Dupria the questions that appeared on the list, and they made notes of Mr. Dupria's answers. Now the children had enough information to write their report and finish the project. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this lesson.